<laughs> what's up, my homies? My clap doesn't have the same pop because I'm wearing gloves because it's about five fucking degrees right now. Um, man, this place is awesome. It is, it's like nothing I've ever seen. And I've been in Montana and North Dakota and Toronto and uh, I've been to some northern towns, but nothing, <laughs> nothing like this. I'm um, on an island called Svalbard or Spitsbergen, depending on your age, I think. I think the older cats call it Spitsbergen, but uh, either way is correct. Nobody seems to care. Um, it, it's, I got some slight, light, light, light snow flurries. I, it was snowing when we first got off the plane yesterday. Snowing pretty hard. It was nice. I mean, not snowing hard for this place. They're, they're used to fucking blizzards and shit. But um, I am at uh, 78 degrees north. Longitude. Is that right? Yeah, 78 degrees north. Um, which is pretty close to the North Pole. I, I think we're approximately like six or seven hundred miles south of the actual magnetic north pole so um yeah it's wild it's 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 just it's it's mind-numbing it's um I, I'm, I'm having a hard time finding words to describe how awesome and unique and different and Man, you just really, you, you, it, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's hard to describe. Uh, it's not cold for these folks because they're used to it, but, um, and I like cold weather, but the uh, 20s is something that is not something I normally uh, am in. I think right now in Louisiana, it's 80, 82 or 85 degrees. I don't know, and all the temperature that I use is in Fahrenheit. I don't, we don't use um, Celsius just yet. Uh, maybe we should, but we don't. Um, but yeah, we spent today walking around in town. Um, everything was really close. Bought a hat. Got some fucking gloves that, as it turns out, aren't very good. <laughs> These are, um, I guess they're shell gloves. They're meant to be worn underneath, bigger gloves but I didn't know that because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing um really nice Norwegian girl in Oslo hooked us up with some gear um merino wool base layers with some waterproof pants on the outside that I'm wearing now because wearing jeans out, out here is just a terrible idea jeans suck at insulating they really do they're terrible um, but the hotel we got is fucking beautiful. The room is really, really nice. The restaurant is amazing. I'll have some video of that later. The food so far we've had has just been re beyond ridiculous. So, our, the unknown of what kind of quality food we were going to get when we got here is far exceeded our expectations. It's been really, really delicious the, the the different ways they prepare salmon is just off the charts man just so many they just have access I guess salmon uh, really like Arctic cold waters so there is a, an abundance of them and um, some king crab legs the same seafood that you would find in the Bering Strait, which is the, that's the body of water that separates Alaska and Russia, and those are the fucking, um, you know, the, the TV shows where the dudes are deadliest catch or whatever. That, that, though, that body of water is similar to this Arctic ocean we're in. Uh, same, same types of crabs and fish and whatnot. Um, so it's really, really good. <laughs> it's just fucking beautiful, man. It's just mountains 
and ice and glaciers and we haven't seen any wildlife yet. No, uh, I thought I saw Arctic Fox earlier and I freaked out and it turns out it was just a white dog. Uh, and apparently it escaped from its owner because she was running around yelling and it was, I was, of course, I was petting it. I was like, oh, he's fine. Hmm, he's by me. Um, people here are not too sure what to think about us. They, everybody seems a little confused, but flattered that we, two dudes from New Orleans, have gone out of their way to plan a trip, not just to Europe, not just to Norway, but this particular island in the Arctic Circle. Um, evidently, all right, so the plane coming here was fucking packed, man. And we were like, are we missing something? What the hell is going on? Why are so many people flying to this island at the same time we are? This doesn't make any sense. So the girl in front of us was like, hey, are y'all here for the, she didn't say y'all, or she did, she was from Florida said, hey, uh, y'all are here for the festival? We're like, what? Yeah, the, 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 the Dark Days Blues Festival. Um, we don't know what you're talking about. She's like, oh yeah, it's the biggest festival of the year. Like, they get 10 or 12 bands from all over the, all over the planet to fly up here, and they play in this big blues festival. And what it is, it's celebrating the, uh, because starting tomorrow, the sun sets, or tonight when it sets, and it doesn't rise for four months. So, so we're here for that. The, the forecast for Northern Lights initially were really good, um, but it's been really cloudy, like a front has moved in. So unless these clouds dissipate quickly, we're probably not gonna see any Northern Lights, which kind of sucks because that was the one of the main reasons we picked this exact time of year to come. We, we wanted it to be dark and uh, give us a chance to see the green sky. But it hasn't happened. I keep hearing somebody talk. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a video outlining in, in painful detail why I think everyone should plan a trip to visit this island. There are just so, so many reasons. And it's just, it's an awesome place. It's a part of the world very, very few people have or ever will see. It's, it's unique, it almost looks like we're on the moon. It's really, it's wild. Even the people that live in Oslo, Norway, most of them were like, oh man, I've lived here my whole life and I've never gone up there, especially now. It's it's about to be really cold and dark, and we're like, bring it on, baby. That's what we like. We like it cold and dark. Um, so it's it's it, it, the, the the temperatures are about what we expected, but we don't get temperatures this low where we live ever. So even though we've experienced these types of low temp temperatures in different locations in the U.S something different there's something different about it here it's just kind of bone chilling uh, I'm wearing this ridiculous but very appropriate Arctic hat I mean at Arctic jacket which the girl was like you picked a great jacket it's a good jacket for this area so that made me feel good um, I'm toasty warm we walked quite a bit in Oslo, and I wore it the last night, and I was actually sweating underneath the jacket. It was so warm. These gloves, 100% useless. I should, I could be wearing cotton socks on my hands, and they would be just as effective. So this was a fail. Um, pants, however, are very warm. The merino wool base layer underwear pants that I got, also very warm. Uh, wool socks. All you gotta do is get some merino wool socks. What shoes you wear isn't terribly important. I'm just wearing my Doc Martens and they're uh, they're doing the job. Now if we were trekking through piles of snow and ice and shit, the Doc Martens would not work because they need, you need waterproof foot gear. But 
we're not doing that. Um, I don't know if you can you see the snow flurries just a little bit hitting me in the side of my face. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, it feels nice though. It, it, it takes a different kind of person to enjoy these harsh, freezing cold elements. And you have to have an adventurous core to, to, to plan a trip to this severe of a location. Um, but I challenge everyone to do it. Do something outside of your comfort zone. Challenge yourself as a human being. Do something that you know is going to be difficult, but it's fun and exciting and new and something that you will share with a handful of other people who have made the journey to come to this lonely island in the Arctic Circle. It's it's a unique place. It's not, it's not like anything I've ever seen or felt. The air is clear of pollutants, very little noise. Um, there's a vibe. That the, 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 the people that live here, there's only about 1,200 permanent residents. Um, apparently, that when, it, when it gets dark and it stays dark for four months, they, they don't love it. And I'm starting to see why. Uh, as much as I complain about sunlight, if the sun just disappeared for four months, I think that would wear me down a little bit. I mean, we're loving it because it's something new for us. But if we had to live here the whole time, I could see where that would start to grind you down and just make you not want to go outside for very long. <laughs> but, uh, ooh, it's chilly. I got a hat. Everybody calm down. I got a hood. I got useless gloves. I gotta get some better gloves. Legs and feet are warm. Um, this jacket I got, it works perfectly. And uh, so this was the update, man. We are here. We are finally here after planning this trip for basically two years. We finally made it. We've actually made it. I'm going to try to shoot some video tomorrow. We're going to go to the other side of the island. Um, we'll get a better view of some... some uh, some different mountain ranges and um but it's about uh, what time is it now like one o'clock in the afternoon so the sun's gonna set in about an hour and that's it it's not gonna rise again for four months that is crazy it, it, it's, it's a little unsettling to be out anywhere by yourself because there, there is always a possibility that a polar bear could randomly show up and if it does, you are so, so beyond fucked. I can't even, you, you need a bus to get back to fuck. You are such, you're, you're, it's over. Because they are hungry and fast. And are really good at hiding, apparently. Uh, I climbed up this little hill a little while ago. And while I was up there, I was like, holy shit, man. A polar bear fucking came up over that ridge. I would be in really big trouble. Um, with the wind chill right now, in case anybody was wondering, it's about five degrees, maybe maybe zero with the wind chill. And um, I'm really feeling it. I've completely lost the feeling in my ears. I feel like the side of my face is going numb. Um, but I know I'm gonna survive and thrive. I love this weather and climate. And, and ecosystem. And just do something difficult every now and then to put your life into perspective and to prove to yourself that you can survive in a harsh, very, very harsh and a very different climate and, and landscape than you're currently living in. Just give it a shot, man. Um, it takes you back to your caveman, Neanderthal roots, where you did, you just had to survive, no matter what the weather was, no matter what the predators were, or the, the lack of food, 
or the work you had to put into hunting or, or gathering just to feed your family and whatnot and, and survive as a human being, it, it, it taps into that a little bit, which to me is exciting and fun and very rewarding. Um, the, the wind here is, is, <laughs> is no joke. Oh man, my face is going numb. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna end this for now. I just want everybody to get a little glimpse of this unbelievably amazing ice-covered, snowy, frozen paradise. I will try to live stream. Y'all gotta keep in mind I'm seven hours ahead of Central Time. That makes me nine hours ahead of Pacific Time. So getting the timing right for a live stream. Is, is a little tricky, uh, but I hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will have more. I'm going to try to upload a new vid every day from a different location so you can see the different landscapes that I'm experiencing. Uh, I really like the way that the sun is kind of hitting that, that giant, that mountain there behind me, but uh, the wind chill is no joke. Uh, right before I came out and I checked it, it was five degrees Fahrenheit and then within an hour when the sun does actually set set it's gonna be down to zero or minus five so not everybody's cut out for this kind of extreme coldness I am I love it I thrive in it I love how it makes me feel as a human being I just I feel alive the pain from the wind chill is just a reminder that you are still alive man and enjoying life spending time with loved ones in a part of the world that nobody I ever meet will ever be able to say oh you know what I went there one summer <laughs> nobody so I'm, I'm encouraging people to plan a trip up here man if you have a bucket list or you're adventurous you just want to experience something that's just breathtakingly beautiful then uh yeah hit me up i'll give you details on how to get here it wasn't as difficult as as we thought to be honest um but anyhow that's it i'll be back with a new video later hope everybody enjoys this uh anybody struggling right now really hope this put a smile on your face for at least a couple of minutes and um uh,